Okay, so he served up scriptures with a side of scandal for five seasons on the hit series Greenleaf. Now, Laman Rucker is cooking up Christmas, but not without some interesting demands. No bread or pasta with gluten, no breakfast cereals, no dairy, no soy, no corn, no high fructose corn syrup, no foods made with GMOs. Are you getting all this? No trans fats, most cooking oils, uh, no cookies that begin with the letter C, no salty snacks, no sweetened drinks like sweet tea. So, Chef Chloe, what's for dinner? I'll figure it out. Oh, don't forget your books. And actor Laman Rocker joins us this morning. Seriously, with all those restrictions, what is a cookie without a C? <laughs> Okies? <laughs> Listen, that was part of the fun. We shot that a few different times, and I was just rolling and coming up with stuff, and that was something that was perfectly obnoxious for uh, for Donovan to say. So he's so wound up and uptight uh, that I'm surprised that made it in there, but that was part of the fun of this, of this project, and uh, Donovan was a lot of fun to play. So, yep, even foods that begin with C, if it's any fun, you can't eat it. Oh, no, but it works because some people actually have some of those restrictions. I have, like, quite a few of those. So it kind of, really? then you went overboard. I was like, okay, now that's getting crazy. <laughs> so do you have any restrictions that crazy in your real life or no? Oh, yeah. You ha unfortunately, you have to be disciplined. I mean, I think for a lot of people, um, there's obviously the, the joy that's associated with food. But at the same time, without being too, too drab or dreary right now, we've also got to be very mindful of how many of us overeat or we eat improperly. And when it comes to your, your overall health and wellness and in particular, just staying fit and not letting, again, even being uh, so insulated and isolated the last few months, mm -hmm. um, a big part of staying fit isn't just getting out and, and leading and living an active lifestyle, but it's it's significantly um, more about what you eat and what you put inside your body. So yeah, I'm very disciplined and very mindful of that. But at the same time, I'm a foodie. I love food of all cultures. And, uh, um, you know, I think uh, this, this, this film is, is really wonderful because it really is also about that. It's mm -hmm. about the, the celebration of food and how food is the centerpiece of, of every culture uh, yeah. around the world. It's a centerpiece of family custom and tradition and, uh, um, you know, so it's a, it's a lot of fun. But as you learn more about Donovan, you learn a lot more about exactly why he is that way. And there's good things um, that come, uh, you know, that have come about because of that self-discipline. But uh, unfortunately, there's a part of that that's connected to some trauma and some tragedy in his life um, as but well. Your and fans, that's part of the heart of the movie. Too. But the fans will get to see it. We'll see. We'll get to understand why. That's what I love about Absolutely. this movie. I told you I saw it yesterday because exactly. I'm cool. Yeah, I know people. I'm jealous. I was like, hey, I know this is an own movie and you have Oprah on your speed dial. I don't Man. yet. But I still found a way to get the movie. And it was just, it, it delivered on everything like a Christmas movie should I'm, deliver on. Like I'm, family, I'm so love, jealous. like food, like just Chef Chloe was just perfect. I was like, and what is up with you and living in Manchester? Like, I wanted to move into the Greenleaf house. And then now I want to move into this house. Like, what, like, say, is that on your contract well. that you have to be like? I'm, a, I'm always living well. Uh, but yeah. no, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised throughout my career. Um, one of the things I love about the work that has shown itself to me and that I've also had the privilege to choose and have a part in is that I try to be just a real man, just try to be a genuine, authentic, whole human being. And I've played men that have been in a variety of different uh, economic positions and class and educational attainment and whatever. But whether it's privilege or whether it's um, under any other kind of unfortunate circumstance, what's always fun is to show both sides, show how well things can go in someone's life and at the same time be realistic about mm -hmm. some of the trial and tribulation that we can be faced with. But no matter what, there's a way that uh, just because things look good doesn't mean they're always pretty, especially mm. on the inside. So I know. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Right? I, oh, right. Well, success. I'll take, but I'll still take it. I'll take the bad and the good that, and right. the mansion. Yeah, I'm sure. But Most people would say, hey, if I'm going to have some problems, I'd rather have some money in, in the, the bank than in have the some Green problems. Leaf mansion. But like, trust me when I tell you, be careful. You okay, know, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, Pastor Greenleaf.
That's right. That's okay, right. Okay, Pastor you know. Greenleaf. Which, 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 <laughs> Money which does I gotta not solve say, all, congrats all. to you, not just for Greenleaf, but your executive produced uh, cooking, um, cooking Up Christmas. And then, speaking of Greenleaf, will we get to have a reunion with you? Because I keep hearing about spinoffs and stuff. And now that you know that I know people at OWN, uh, will there be yeah, spinoffs gotta, for us? Can you tell me anything about a spinoff or now? You've, you've got an interesting little inside track on things, I, I see. But to my understanding, uh, the, the, the hard news is no. I believe that um, right now the first uh, series that's coming to own, that's also through the brilliant mind of Craig Wright and, uh, and Oprah and that relationship is called, uh, uh, called Delilah. And that, as far as I know, doesn't have anything to do with us. Nobody's called me yet, so I have no clue. That's a completely different set of characters and I circumstances. I am going to text yeah, Oprah so, right now on the fake hey, number that I have, and I'm going to hey, text Mr. Wright. Me, I'm going to see on me, you on it. I'm going to see you on it to find out because, you know... If you want to see more of me, though, you know, Cooking Up Christmas... Tomorrow. Obviously premieres tomorrow of course. on OWN, 9 p.m. Eastern. But I have a series out uh, right now that's on the Urban Movie Channel called UMC. Terror Lake Drive. Mm -hmm. um, exactly, on UMC. Mm -hmm. And then I actually, I'm back in Atlanta. I just wrapped a film uh, called Bad Dad Rehab that oh. is scheduled to, uh, to be released sometime next year on TV One. So I'm staying busy, trying to continue to stay in the conversation and always do work that's relevant. Um, and, you know, not always the one who has it all together, but uh, even when I don't, um, it's it's a lot of fun. So we're proud of thanks you, Mr. so much Rucker. for all the love. I miss you, New York. Well, you know, you, you can I come back anytime. Very soon, we'll, know, everything will get back to normal. It, so y'all gotta show me some love. I was hoping to be back all year, but when COVID got really bad, you know, I had to stay put, and you know, we kind of uh, stayed with our family elsewhere, yeah. and uh, and then work continued to pop up and show itself in Atlanta. George has been showing me so much love. I can't wait to get back to New York. I was hoping we to be can't there wait to see working. you. Thank you for all the great work you've been doing. We know, but thank you for all the great work for entertaining us all My these pleasure. years with some My amazing, pleasure. amazing Absolutely. characters. We love you. Absolutely. We love your work. And you can see more of him tomorrow night, like he said, on OWN for the premiere of Cooking Up Christmas.